Welcome to this UniLogic tutorial. UniLogic is the complete application development environment for our Unitronics Unistream control platform. Hello, my name is Alexander Martin. I'm an applications engineer at Unitronics. This tutorial is about configuring and sending email. This is accomplished through configuring the panel Ethernet, setting up a mail account, composing a mail message and linking any attachments, and then sending the, ma uh, the mail via the ladder. In UniLogic, we will first set up the PLC communications for the Ethernet. To do this, navigate in the Solution Explorer to PLC Communications, Physical, and then Panel Ethernet. Here you can configure the DNS server information. This information is required when sending any emails. Once this is set up, we can then add that mail account that we wish to use. Again, navigate to the Solution Explorer, Mails, and then Accounts. Here we can add a new account by selecting the Add New Account button. We can add an account name. We can leave this as account 1. And then we can enter a username. This will be the account the mail is sent from. I will use a Gmail account. And then enter my password for that account. Just to show you, when you type in a password, it does not display. It is automatically hidden. When you select the eye icon, it does display it. And finally, you can configure the outgoing server settings. There are already pre-configured options for Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, or custom options. Custom options allows other server information to be entered if it's uh, other than the three pre-configured options. Again, I will be using Gmail, so I will select this option, which automatically sets the server address and port. Now that the account is set up, we can configure the email that we wish to send. To do this, navigate in the Solution Explorer to Mails, Emails. Here we can add a new message by selecting the Add New Mail button. This automatically creates a global struct for each message. This includes a success bit, a failed bit, and a status integer. We can configure the message by clicking on the name of the mail, which in this instance is mail1. This brings us to the message composer. Here we can set up the basic layout of the message. We can add different email elements from the toolbox on the right, such as fixed text, binary text variables, list of text variables, number variables, and line breaks. There are also general properties, such as which mail account you want to use, the name of the mail, and the recipients. So we can set up our general email here. For a subject, we can just call this uh, test email, which I've set up in the email subject ASCII string. We navigate to global. You can see the email subject has been set up. And it will say test email. We can also add some fixed text. And this is just dragged on the message composer in the properties window is where I will define my fixed text. I call this value 1. I'll end up linking a number. We can then drag a number variable over as well and link this to a sample data tag that has already been set up. Sample data has been pre-configured with a power value of 500. Back to the general properties, we can assign which mail account we wish to use. We've used the name account1. We can change the name of the mail if we wish. 
We can change this to sample email. It can, we, we can address who this is to. I can use my Unitronics email, alexander.marden at unitronics.com. And if needed, I could also attach carbon copies and blind carbon copies. Attachments are also an option, such as data tables or data samplers. Data tables automatically pull from the data table folder, and you can include a file name. And the file type can be either raw or CSV. Similar for data samplers, you can assign which folder you're pulling from, assign a file name, and also choose raw data or CSV. Well, this email will not be sending any file attachments. Once the email is configured, we can then return to the general mailbox by clicking go back to mails. We can then see that the mail message displays a subject, message preview, and if we change it, the name of the mail will show up. We've changed this to sample email. And then once we want to send this mail, we can set it up in the logic, which is quite simple. We then navigate to the ladder. And we'll be using the SMS and email com drop down menu. And we'll choose the send mail function. When we're selecting which mail we want to send, it automatically selects the email struct, and our message is inside, sample email. Now to send this, I will just link a simple contact bit. Send email, and then I will reset that bit. That is all you need to do to configure it in the logic. Then we can download the program and go on online and view um, how to send the email. After the program is downloaded and we are online, we can then select the send email bit, change the status to high for just a moment, which will then send our mail. We can then view this by email. It should come in just a second. As we see, I received it at my uh, email at unitronics.com. It was sent from my Unitronics Gmail account. It has a subject test email, and it was configured as we set it up in the email configuration. Value, then the actual value we we're sending, which was pre-configured to 500. This concludes the tutorial about configuring and sending email. You can find more information and example applications on our website. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope to see you again.